Hey gang, welcome back to Joe Daddy's Garage. Today's video is going to be a little bit different than my normal type of videos. As you know, I do a lot of restoration type work, mostly on Mustangs and Camaros and stuff like that, and that may involve cutting and welding, painting, fitting parts, and making sure everything works on that vehicle. I've also done regular repair type of videos where I show you how to replace brake pads and rotors on everyday daily drivers, and those have all done very well. I've also done videos on demonstrating tools or equipment that I can use in the shop to help get the job done. And that has been a great thing to do, and it also demonstrates how I use these tools. Now, last year I did a video on a car cover for Jade, the 68 Mustang that I did a basically a complete restoration on. And I bought that car cover installed it, did a video on it, and it turned out great. It did exactly what I wanted it to do, and I was very happy with it. So recently, I have been contacted by carcover.com asking me if I would do another video. And I thought about it, and I said, well, you know, I really don't know. I don't have anything in particular that I need to, oh, wait a minute, I do have something. As you know, I have a variety of cars and a truck or two around here, and one of those other vehicles that I have is my grandfather's 1931 Model A Ford that I basically restored several years ago, back in 2007. There are some videos of that car on this channel if you're interested in seeing those. Now, I admit, I'm not the best at taking care of the vehicles as far as keeping them clean, washing them when they need to be washed, detailing them, all that sort of thing just kind of doesn't interest me that much. I'm more about building the car and then getting it down the road. So I've kind of neglected the Model A over these years. I'm going to show you what I normally, how I normally store the Model A and also what I plan to do in getting a car cover. So let's take a look at the Model A so I can show you what the actual status is right now and how I typically store it. So it is a bit windy out today, but this is the Model A, and this is where it's stored in your typical, or my typical, house garage. As you can see, I don't have anything covering it up except for some big pieces of cardboard. <laughs> and that is just wrong. I know it's wrong, but that is what I typically do. I put this big piece of cardboard on top, and I hope nothing ends up getting onto the car. So you can't really see very well in here. I mean, you can see the shine and reflection, but there actually is a lot of dust on this car and that can be avoided like that. You can see, hopefully you can see, there is a lot of dust there. I don't, I don't know if that's showing up very well on the camera. It's hard to get a good angle on it, but I don't want to have this car sitting getting dust and dirt on it. Uh, normally I put it in here with the hood up once I shut off the uh, battery and the fuel and I have the hood open and I normally don't even have the windows closed. So at this point what I want to do is show you the car cover that I got from carcover.com. Okay, I have it outside, and again, it is pretty windy out here, so I'm hoping the sound doesn't mess up. But you can see just how crusty it looks. There's a bunch of dust and stuff on the car. Definitely not the best way to store it, <laughs> and I'm guilty. I am definitely guilty of not doing a good job on this. So... I'm going to wipe it down before I do anything else and try to make it look nice. Okay, I've determined that it's far too windy to try to demonstrate this outside. So I moved the car into my big garage so that I can lay it out and get it on the car, get this car cover on the car. So I'm going to open up the box and give you a look at the car cover.
let me go over some of the instructions for this car cover. It says right here, most car covers will have a front tag, either sewn or stamped, to the front of the cover. I found that on the front of the cover. Once you've identified the front of the cover, secure this area of the cover around the front bumper first, then pull the cover over the top of the vehicle and secure under the rear bumper. Now, in this case, the sedan two-door is big and bulky. It's like a box. So I'm going to try to do it a little bit differently than what the instructions say. If your car cover came with mirror pockets, be sure to place the cover over the side mirrors first before the ends of the cover are attached to the bumpers. Makes sense. If it does not have an antenna that can be removed or attracted, you should use the antenna patch that came with your cover. I can guarantee you Model A's did not have an antenna. Punch a hole for the antenna. We're not going to go over that. And that's going to be basically it. And then to remove it, you just release it from the, the ends of the bumpers and fold it back up. So this came in a really nice little pouch. A nice little like sleeping bag for it. Very, very soft material on the inside. Now this cover is different than the one I have for the uh, Mustang in that this one is an indoor cover. It's not meant to be an outdoor cover. Bit of a difference there. Let's see if we can get it on the car. Hey, now that is pretty cool. This cover fits very well. Let me show you. Now really, I must say, I didn't know what to expect from this cover, but with the odd shapes of this car, you know, the headlights, the mirrors sticking out, the fenders, it covered everything. Now granted, the wheels aren't covered, but it may, I don't think it would stretch quite that far, but, I mean, I can get underneath the, the corner of the fender there. Now, this does have some, you can see a little uh, clip lock under here. And I'm sure there's a secondary piece that would attach those together. There's probably one over here somewhere that it may be up underneath. But I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, I just wanted to have <laughs> something to cover up the car. And, you know, even right here, they added a filler piece to let this stretch out over these big front fenders. So, yeah, that is definitely a thumbs up. Definitely a thumbs up. I like that a lot. All right, it fits nice. I like it. It's really well made. And again, this is an indoor cover. Now, here's the cool part. CarCover.com has given me the opportunity to give away a car cover. There are some stipulations. One... It would be nice if you were subscribed to my channel. Two, I need you to leave a thumbs up and a comment. Now here's the other part of that. Go to carcover.com, and I'm gonna do a little walkthrough of how to do this. But go to carcover.com, put in your car what you, what you have or what you wanna cover for. Find out that model number, because I can't help you get this cover unless we know what the model number is. So look at that on their website, come back here punch in that code for that car cover and I will do a drawing in two weeks from the release of this video and then at that point I will draw a name let carcover.com know who won let you know who won and then they will send you a car cover directly and this is for any cover that they have in their inventory indoor outdoor whatever it doesn't matter they're going to send one to you. Now, if you also are interested and in, say you don't win the car cover, I will post a link in the description below and you can go to their website again. And there is a discount code that they have authorized me to use that will help you get that car cover. So, I hope you're in. I hope you have registered, basically, to win a car cover. And if you haven't, well, you better get there. <laughs> Again, these are cool covers, very nice and well-made, and I appreciate carcover.com for promoting this giveaway. So again, leave a thumbs up and a comment, and that'll be it for this video. Until next time, take care of yourselves. See ya.